a leading natural brand of liquid and bar soap. All our ingredients are certified fair trade and organic. One of the key ingredients is hemp seed oil. Hemp seed oil uh, makes the uh, soaps lather much smoother and less drying. Um, my grandfather ran the company as a nonprofit religious organization. Uh, he lost to the IRS in the late 80s and was we were in bankruptcy and are now a for profit. But we cap all salaries of all, all our executives at five to one of our lowest uh, paid employee and basically put all profits not needed for the business into our the causes we support. So for over 10 years now, we've been supporting the recommercialization of industrial hemp and ending cannabis prohibition generally. Uh, and, and psychedelics prohibition generally. Um, we fought the DEA's uh, attempt to ban hemp seed in their, uh, 10 years ago. We uh, coordinated industry successful defense. Um, in 2010, after Jack Harris' stroke, uh, you know, and just the incredible disappointment uh, in the Obama administration's failure to uh, base policy on reason and science, as they promised, but rather caving into the drug warriors uh, to, you know, their hysteria and fear. Um, we uh, dug up the DEA's lawn and planted hemp seeds, got arrested. Uh, just, uh, yeah. So, um, and then just, uh, just in June, two months ago, uh, I locked myself in a cage in front of uh, the White House with some hemp, hemp plants, harvested 12 hemp plants with a big sign, Obama let American farmers grow hemp. Stop making us send over $100,000 to Canada every year. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we're just like sick and tired of, you know, prohibition. And we, uh, we just gave 50000 to uh, the Colorado effort. We gave 50000 here in Washington. We gave 100000 to ASA, um, 100000 to MAPS. If you don't know MAPS, go check them out. MAPS.org, doing great work. Yeah, you know. So, you know, yeah. You know, we all, I think a lot of us here, all of us here hopefully, have uh, found cannabis and psychedelics to be real allies in our path to leading more conscious and compassionate lives. Um, and it has huge promise in the world for helping us deal with all our problems. So, uh, thank you very much, and uh, all right, rock on. Yeah! All right, thank you so much. That's exactly why, I mean, I'm telling you. He's wiping the slate clean. That's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna bring back our rights as Americans, as human beings, to partake in a plant if we want to. If we're not hurting anybody else, what is the problem? That's right. Schedule, just like any other hard drug, crack cocaine, cocaine, heroin, it's all put into the same. Even though there's thousands of people dying every day or every week from oxys that doctors are prescribing, you probably guys, all of you guys have known horror stories like that. One of my close friends have died from that, that's right. Taking oxys, they go to sleep and all of a sudden their lungs just don't work anymore. That's right, I've never heard that from any pot. Not even close. In fact, I heard that in order to kill a rat with ma enough marijuana, you have to drop 20 pounds on it. Up. Okay. <laughs> All right, you've had enough. Kevin, I'll